Hey everybody, how's it going? I apologize for the hour delay. Had dad working uh, down here with me, so didn't want to go live while he was down here with me. So, but I'm live now and that's all that matters. Um, I hope everybody is having a fantastic Tuesday night. Um, I know I am. <laughs> I've been watching Ghost Adventures for the last several hours, so. Um, been, been fun. It's been fun. Um, as you see in the title, we're gonna be playing Mafia today. Now, I have played, like, a good bit of this game before I started wanting- before I wanted to play it here on, uh, on stream. So, I do have an idea of what's going to happen, but we'll probably get to the certain point and I'll be like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, so that's what we'll be playing today. Who doesn't want to join just a mob? Who just doesn't want to do that? That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> um, but yes, t today we will be playing Mafia. We'll be playing the Definitive Edition of Mafia today, so we'll, we'll get right into it. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So let me get my that and then let me fix that. Nope, bang, I need that. And then let me get my thing up. And then let me find Mafia and we will get started. Now, I will say, I do love this game, and it is made by the same people that made my favorite game of all time, my favorite, like, genre of games of all time, uh, which is Borderlands. This is made by 2K, um, and I didn't know that, so w w this is, this is gonna, this is really, really cool, so we'll see, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens, currently getting into the 2K store for some reason. But we love some 2K around here. And this won't be like yesterday where I'm be getting be a scaredy cat. There's nothing scary about it. Like me, I just like a good game that does not scare the shit out of me. <laughs> And so today we will just do an entirely new game. Yes, it's fine. I don't care. We'll do... Since I'm kind of well versed in the game, we'll just do a medium. I don't know what the difference is between regular and simulation. Yeah. Yes. Let's get started. This is also a very interesting story as well. Very, very interesting story. I'm just turning it up a little bit. Because I don't know if it's too quiet or what. But I know I am louder than my game audio, so... This game is so pretty. 
I will say that. This game is so freaking pretty. Look at these old cars! It's so freaking pretty, man! Yeah. This game's so good. It looks so realistic too. It's so freaking good. I am super proud of this. It looks so freaking cool. It's just like a mo like a beginning of a movie. It's so freaking cool. Damn, this is so cool. I love this so much. It's so, so cool. Tommy. Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No thanks. Suit yourself. So, yeah. On the phone, you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, he handed you a Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah. I might have some. Might. What's my end of the deal? I uh, want money. Some sort of immunity. None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, 
Are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. Your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. When you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed the heater in the nursery, did you? No. <laughs> I was a cab driver back in 30. 1930. An offer you can't refuse. I mostly drove nights because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! trouble drive how the hell they know we'd be there it doesn't matter now we just gotta lose them uh, how many cars we got following one for now but there will be more hold tight i'm gonna try something yeah this taxi does we'll not move case. fast you don't get to ask questions we need to get over the river take the giuliani bridge oh okay your leg okay up there? Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. Just getting the call anyway. Hey, I see you listening, Cabby. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. taking you once we're over the bridge I'm getting tired out of questions well I kind of have to know where we're going for them ah shit Say goodnight, I know some shortcuts that'll slow them down I don't care how you do it Shake them off. That was your shortcut? I lost it, didn't I? Not all of them. These guys really don't like it, do they? I'm telling business but I far. forgot that that was a roadblock. Yeah, but Polly. More he knows, more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Dark. We ain't 
clear yet. Keep driving. Poor bastards digging the road for the works program aren't going to thank us for this. Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? Four, five, maybe. No one him, he's called for more. Sure feels like it. Next time we take more muscle. We should have expected trouble. And the boss hears about this, they'll be hell to pay. God damn it! to send word out. There's more and more of them. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. West Harbor Bridge, Cabby, fast! God, this is uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah, we can make it. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Jesus, never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Okay, we're close. Jesus front Christ. Of that bar. It's Aries, please. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car. And the bullet holes. Can't forget the bullet holes. You swerved. To keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? Nah, of course. See you around, kid. 
Yet he doesn't tell me how to explain the bullet holes. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but... I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. Booyah. After that night with Salieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there. Driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. That's much better. So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. You actually have to obey the laws of the road in this game, or else cops will come for you and it's not nice. To a certain degree. <laughs> you obey the laws of the road to a certain degree. Stop there. By the park. Here you go. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. Is it like 15 cents for like the first mile and then 5 cents for each additional mile? That makes no sense to me. Better find a new fare. Dude, walk out in the middle of the damn road. Gallery. 
Get me there quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. What are you waiting for? Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. the gallery that's enough I'm walking Drag drivers in this city I literally got you here the fuck you mean every fair today's been a son of a bitch on to the next I got you here didn't I People can be so rude. Fourth, and can you drop me Coming in front right of City up. Hall? Thank you kindly. Anytime. Have a good day. Shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Most figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I am drunk and don't know better. Come see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. Can you please? <laughs> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Can you please move, you stupid car?
It's like wheel drivers. What the hell? It's literally right there. Ooh. Literally right there. Nearly there. Just up here on, on the corner, please. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucy out sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. Okay. Might just do that. Oh, Jesus. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while. Eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Gotta run, gotta run, go run. What, what the fuck, dude? Run! Jesus Christ. this how you doing kid Dino Lou you got business with the Don nah we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there that's all that right yeah what well, is he is the Don's favorite driver so anything you got to say to him you say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. At least we could do. Come on. Go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Heck yeah. Call you, son. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of time he helped us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. 
So I'm going to set you up with a small loan. Enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas grills hang out at a barrio. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. Damn right. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, we got more turns, so sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Cabby. We're helping him out. Find anything good? He's gonna drive the bar? Nah, I... Nah, I'm watching. Don't lose your job that Got it? Easy. I get it. I hate sitting around. It's boring as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on your wedding day, well, I'll still do it. I don't get what his problem is with these hogs. What do you think I'm gonna do? Is that Zista, Ricordi? Ah, si, si. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh, heavy lifting. He makes sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. Mm-hmm. Gotta go. Long drive back north. Ciao, Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. Right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or rods? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. <laughs> Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Well, I know you will. Come back and see me later if the boys don't Ralph scare you. Ralphie's in the so garage. Well. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets engines to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> the fuck you, Polly? You can't, can't, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a cracked egg. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. 
And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. <laughs> I don't know what Rouse trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, that guy's fine. It's good to get a change from the cap. You don't have to be nice about it. Spins a tin can! So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. We're okay, as long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. We keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but... Not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. It's not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. I have to say, Polly he is one of my favorites. He's so funny. We're wrecking today, not this junker. I didn't need time to break. I think I don't think this car breaks very good. Get on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. And a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Yep. Okay. Okay. Go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Yeah, like you bet. He's got his big guy. Christ, Tom. You'll get the big guy. See? Fine to not listen, Tom. But when you're getting beat on someday for making a big show of it, I'll remind you of this. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. And they don't get it distracted. Boston, ah, plenty of guys in the city real pissed. Next to me, be careful. What am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep lookout here. 
Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's not got this like that. So let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. from the car. Come get Back him. Down time. You got some kind of death wish? Oh, Jesus. Just like that. Got it. Come on, Tom, quick. There's gonna be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. Yeah, he got that nice and good. Love the smell of burning paintwork. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep it. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best way. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! Don't let him get away! Down. Come back, you bastards! <laughs> He's down! We're good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah, I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt Clearly. that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. You've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle. Or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlos, pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so 
Sure you don't got plans. Plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. This car is also really hard to drive. Yeah, this isn't like your modern day car at all. Still with you then? Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. Mm -hmm. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that... Is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. <laughs> All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? Loyalty. They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're going to be living the high life, Tommy. But you abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Hey. 
pescado. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, <laughs> but I got what did I know? You Tommy? Come on, this yeah. Gas in your pipe. Boss get is waiting back. for you. Thanks. There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last night. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa. Oh, hi, Marshall. They need to believe you'll protect. Good morning. So let Morella stoop to breaking. Legs. Even though it's almost 10 p.m. for me. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Tom ah. just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. It's 8.30 a.m. there? Damn. Hey, just a guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right, that don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls, okay? Now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. Vinny. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. Okay. You guys need to be careful today, okay? Spook. Viv said Morello's still bent since he lost the car. Nice. Do you know how to get, get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And an afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Also like Ralphie, he's adorable. Come on, Tita Tommy. But we'll bring me something good, good, good to work on. Huh? Have a good day, Mr. Fellas. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Well, don't walk out in front of the car, you stupid. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. 
when they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. Mm. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. Oh, Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good. Where's the money? Perone, fetcha! Con ci succhiate il sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Via di qui! Lasciateci in pace! I got it. See you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Palo. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Not him. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Hmm. Chinatown. I want to say this is New York, but I don't think it is. Or it's a similar, it's similar to New York, but I don't think it is New York. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Sure, I'm sure. All right. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She's got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Whatever makes man happy? Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Yeah, it seems so. All right. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And yeah, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. 
not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all. I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. This hotel is all the way the fuck out here. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. But well, happy to oblige. Okay, there it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. You we'll be got back it. in a bit. Okay. Sign literally says no smoking. Tom! Tom, I, I took one. Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
So freaking dumb. This game is so dumb sometimes. I had to do this like several times last time, so this isn't. This isn't unusual. Plenty of mooks like him coming, though. Rick. This game is so freaking stupid sometimes. Which I had to do this part like several times. So this is not unusual. Looks like him coming, though. Rick. <laughs> Damn it, I fucking hate these controls. I fucking hate how this game controls. I fucking hate it. Like, alt is to, like, block, and I fucking hate it so much. It's so fucking stupid. You know what? Fuck it. Eyes open, guys.
fucking hate the revolver. Semi-automatic is just great. Fuck yeah. Didn't even realize there was a shotgun up here. That's perfect, actually. Gotcha. Sam. Shotgun really saved my life. You, buddy. Come on. You'll be all right. Your toughest nails. Okay, inside. Then go get the money! How did he get right there when he was up against the car? That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Hmm. That taught me about three tries. Nineteen thirty-eight. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way so he's been doing it for eight years. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And then next, you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. Mm -hmm. Lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. 
He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Yep. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, dumb. Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grill's a little bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. <laughs> Fuck. Morello's a real uh, piece of work. Someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Morello made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh. Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booths, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like uh, Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. Look at 
this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ. Oh, some night. Hey, buona sera, Tom. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. And then there's this other guy, Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. <laughs> he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. That's a fucking hearse. of a modern day car right here. This isn't even a 30s car, I don't think. Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame he got that. If they see this on a row, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it in one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. <laughs> I heard.
cars are so hard to swerve around. Nice. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? But we don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Our cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful.
Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Fuck yeah. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Ah, sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got a moment? Oh. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. That's a fair point. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. <laughs> I hate this part because the track is so fucked up at the beginning. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh... Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. Something up in this car. Is out. The is out. Excellent, Alex. Son of a bitch. Go for a today, folks. Shit. Always fuck up at that part. Damn straight aggressive driving, I'm trying to get it first. I did hit another dude. I did. You're correct. I gotta slow down for this next turn because this turn is a fucking bitch.
Jesus! No, nope, you're no good. Fuck. I better fucking hold on. If I know what's good for me. In fact, I did not beat this race on the first try, like I should have. So goofy in that outfit, though. Hey, Tommy! <laughs> There's our winner. Hey, Tommy. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new Coke. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. <laughs> oh. There. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. I don't have to ask. I know where he is. Thanks. Beat it. First try. Says, 
What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> Good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of a race car driver. We all got our you're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Then some bad shit, Tom. All in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> wherever the hell he goes home to. Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. with that today. <laughs> Take me to the ladies. Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. Ah, uh, home? Brought me home. Maybe, maybe that's, yeah, a good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Call Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor. Huh? Small sure, favor? Luigi, what do you need? Walk my daughter home. Sarah, the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough. This is a uh, Back of boys who need her place. Uh, the punks, you know, Cativi Ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she gonna speak in the mind. Or maybe she says something they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you work in her home, just remind her these punks she's the dawn's of God daughter. <laughs> no problem, Luigi. I'd be on it. Set up. The time is to close. What's this then? <laughs> uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. Is that right? Hey, I just work here. But should nobody bother you? Fine. 
It'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protected. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Polly won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Don hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. Is that right? <laughs> you're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. <laughs> so adorable. It's nice you do this. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well... It's, um, it's a good night for a walk, anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, Signore. Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? Will you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Louise? Then you get the flowers. Yeah, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If you did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Ah, so now we are... I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Well, let's go someplace. Uh, tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. No. Oh, hey there, darling. You stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. Mm. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> then let's see what you got, Cake Eater. Mm. Where you going here, sweet cheeks? Ha! Back off! Billy <laughs> Trace, you're some kind of dish, ain't you? Get away from me! 
Twist like you's wasted on that greaser. Get him, Billy! Those skins go all the way up, huh? You even touched me and you're dead! You're wasting your time with a deadbeat like that. You need a real guy. I'm not the kind of game you mess with. In here, we could do this all day! I forget. Okay, well, let's see some blood. Who does he think he is? Oh, you guys Ow. are supposed to be tough. Come on, there's enough left to finish. How's the cripple you keep locked in with your cars? He good? You out of shape. Yeah, so you borrow that? Oh, yeah, he's got to be on the way out. This guy's a muscle. Tommy! Ah, fuck. My turn now. Hope you're better than your friends. That's what I got, you son of a bitch. You got a good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place, I'll take a look. <laughs> That's what you get, assholes. You assholes. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up with you. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up, is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it? Don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. Take another. All right. You're gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Because I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super <laughs> about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Well, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. Is that right? You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. And Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because. She was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar would be something to remember you by, if nothing else. You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You 
got an extra blanket or something? No. And it heats out. No. Let's hope though. They are so cute. I love them. They are so cute. Adorable. 1932. This can't stand. But Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking into Chinatown. And Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Yes, sir. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunt. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. All right, I think that's a good place to stop for today. Uh, boy, do I love this game, dude. It's just such a good game. It has such a good story in it as well. I absolutely love the story in this game. Um, uh, I can't remember where I actually stopped playing the game. I'm not exactly sure. And I do apologize for making the stream short. Um, but it's already like 11. And, uh, and uh, I gotta get to bed. <laughs> Um, but I will be streaming tomorrow. It'll be, it'll be 8 o'clock or after my, maybe 8 or 8, it's 8 or 8.30 tomorrow. Um, since I've got, I get off work at 6 and all that good stuff. Um, but we'll be continuing the viewer's choice mode on The Last of Us Part 1 tomorrow. Um, or at least that's the plan, I think. Um. I believe that's what I have scheduled for tomorrow. Let me make sure. Yes. Viewer's Choice Madness tomorrow. We're trying to 100% the game um, on your difficulty. Uh, super excited. Can't wait to continue that. I always love me some The Last of Us. You guys know this by now. I love me some Joel action. Um, but anyway, you guys, I thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!